bit of a bale wrapper on. It's a bit wet for that today. We're in Warwickshire. We're gonna meet Martin, and uh, then we are off to Silverstone races. But while we're driving there, because we might, we might get stuck in traffic, so here's a little bit more from Myerson College. Quick look inside here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, the most set up <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> They're obviously fake dogs, they're not stuffed, are they? They're just like cuddly toys. They're really expensive cuddly toys because they do clever things. Like oh, have they got, they have a pulse and a... allow you to do things with them so they're not just... Uh... Have they got names? <laughs> or just X? <laughs> not that I know. <laughs> no way. Full on operating theatre. For, for exams at the... So is this for taking x-rays and stuff then? Yep. No way. There's an x-ray of the back of a dog. It's mad, isn't it? We're looking around the calf buildings now and they basically just lift the igloo out of the way and then wheel them forwards to muck out and they've got the same automatic milk, milk machine for feeding them that I saw the other week at that other dairy farm. So it mixes it in that and pumps it pumps it to them and it also weighs them as well. They all look quite relaxed and most of them are laid down so I think it might be going to rain. Go have a look in here now. It's a cattle handling race. It's all raised up so you can reach better. So you need to inject them in different things. And then I've got what they call a cattle crush but Holds them steady for doing the horns, the feet, and stuff. So, first setup, and it's indoors. These are like weighted cereal bowls. So it knows which cow's coming eating and it knows how much it's eating. So if one's ill, they'll know two or three days sooner they've been able to spot it themselves, but also can monitor how much they're all eating to know how, what the live weight gain is of them as well. It's clever stuff. There's the uh, concrete mixer. There's some of the equipment that they use on the farm and it's just got dead windy. <laughs> it's blowing round. The cow having a bit of a scratch. And the robotic slurry guzzlers mooching about. Over here on charge by the looks thing. And then three three milking robots. Same as Charlotte's. Oh, you can probably see this one working better. There's two waiting to go in. This track, is it, what the, is it the Juno? Yeah. Uses to find its way from one shed to the other yeah. to push up the feed. The Outside it needs it so it doesn't get lost. There you go, so it's mooching along, chasing the ducks. Pushing up the feed. There's a robot there now milking that cow. It moves backwards and forwards, doesn't it? Status pregnant, one insemination, dry off dirt, calving dirt. So how, how many litres today is it done then? So she's doing 36.5 a day. Right. Oh. There he 
Everybody finished? Everyone else is ready? 3.3 milkings a day. Please finish now. Oh, I see the jet underneath it, squirting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it. You only got a minute. Clean itself now, ready to swap cow. <laughs> Next one walks in. Gate shut. Way in the cow as well, see how it's still on that pad. Now it'll clean its seat. Go. Yeah. <laughs> the car wash. Oh, he does it twice. I've set it to do Suppose if they're not working hard, it doesn't matter, does it? The robots. Right, is that going to clean itself again now? And then... There's a laser finding them, there you go. And you'll start to see the milk coming down these tubes now. It's so, so clever. Oh, wash the jets as well. Wash the brushes. There you go, there's the, there's the milk coming through now. So that was Mayuska. Uh, now we are on a farm track at the back of the racetrack. I'm trying to find a car parking space. I think someone's got a pass for us as well, hopefully, when we get there. Must be pretty close here, then, mustn't they? Oh, look at that Porsche there, struggling to get up the muddy track. Are we P26? There's a the track. There's the track, no way. This yeah. is proper <laughs> close parking. I'm going to say that this is probably a decent car park. Can you hear that noise? Meow. <laughs> There's the track there with the screens. And then there's the helicopters coming in. And we need to get into that car park there. <laughs> I reckon that's going to need a valet afterwards. So we now go under the tunnel and we get on a bus to where we're watching from. You know, it's a big track when you have to get the bus. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Landing, it? I was only saying, you don't see any vetoes on the road anymore, they're all parked here. Yeah. That poor Porsche parking only. Any 
hot tub, it's a bit chilly yeah, now, isn't it? Watch it from the hot tub, Olivia. Pardon? Gonna watch it from the hot tub. just back off here and you get a flame out the exhaust. Proper wet that. So we're here with Ellie Sachs's car and her other car. So she does the sax mode and her boyfriend is a DJ or husband. Um, Olivia wanted a picture. This is the last lap for these, we think, now, so they're proper on it. Oh, he's out breaking him. And he's off. Don't know where to look. Helicopters and cars. You know, down there, you're missing it. <laughs> The road sweeper Grand Prix isn't it a spectacular? You can smell the brakes here. <laughs> Sun's come out now, but it was great. pop-up hotel so next year you can stay there where them DHL wagons are in a pop-up hotel and for four oh helicopter taking off for four days at, at, at Silverstone it's it starts at three thousand quid for two people so what's that 1500 quid each I know it's the cost of a holiday if you're into F1 that sounds cheap to me Gareth, right. one of the marshals, he's he's going to show us. Right. Well, he's shown us his kit, but see this, a thousand volt gloves because the cars are now hybrid. So we're going to try them on. Olivia's got one on already. And that's obviously a full fire suit, isn't it as well? Yeah, this is yes, a pro band suit. Yeah. So, like a Simpsons glove. So we'll put this one on. There you go, Olivia. Now you can, um, when the car crashes, you can go and sort it out. Thank you. Alright. They're filming a Brad Pitt film. I'm looking at can we hit the sides? Quick, jump in, I'll take your picture. That's Formula 2 or Formula 4 now. And then football's on. We're bumping to Mike. Is everyone waiting for the drivers, aren't they? That's the Ferrari team with all the red, isn't it? That's a smart looking Peugeot. That's uh, Silverstone for the first time done, over and out, isn't it? Going up. But yeah. um, I've done the birthdays in a novel way. So here it is. So thanks for watching. Random video. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm in the back. I brought my driver. <laughs> um, um, massive thanks to Guy, Ellie, Harry, Mark from the Pop-Up Hotel for the invite. Really enjoyed it. So next year, they will have the... Uh, the actual full hotel of today it was just a bit of a preview kind of tent thing but they're gonna have a swimming pool on it and everything so go and check out the website i'm going to put it at the end of the video but yeah big thanks to them for uh, doing it and i hope you enjoyed the video it was a bit random but that's just seems to be the, what's going on in june for july anyway. uh, happy birthday tony oh yeah happy birthday tony happy birthday tony yeah and this is the best i could do for the birthdays so happy birthday everyone on there and i'll see you all tomorrow